So, welcome to this problem session based on the topics uh, cognitive ergonomic and physical work environment. So, so far uh, theories we have covered. So, uh, we will try to uh, solve some of the problems which are the uh, applications uh, of uh, our day to day life uh, activities. So, here uh, the first uh, kind of problem is uh, uh, you can see from this slide that an individual is capable of detecting a small object that is uh, 20 mm high at a distance of 35 meter. So, uh, determine the uh, visual angle uh, subtended by the object and the visual acuity of the individual. So, how will you calculate this visual angle subtended by the object and visual acuity of the individual? So, generally this particular uh, as you can uh, as you may recall uh, the theory of uh, human sensory system in which we can uh, we understood about the visual performance and visual equity. So, here what uh, uh, like uh, this is an eye and uh, this is making and this is a particular object let us say a person. So, he is a uh, particular eye is making angle uh, like alpha v this is uh, subtended by an object of height h and the uh, distance t from the eye. So, uh, for a small angles alpha uh, like uh, this if the alpha v is very small. So, uh, alpha v is determined uh, as the height of the detail uh, divided by its distance from the eye that is uh, usually expressed in uh, radian, uh, radians of arc. So, in that uh, that radian of arc is usually converted into arc minute. So, that arc minute uh, how you will calculate how will you convert in fact. So, uh, one arc minute is uh, about uh, 1 upon 60 uh, degree. So, so, alpha v if it is expressed uh, in as a h upon d. So, this 10 alpha v is very small. So, alpha v equals to h by d. So, if it is expressed in radian of arc So, if you have to convert it uh, into arc minute, so how will we convert this? So, we will have to multiply with 60 into 360 by 2 pi into h by d. So, that will be this particular amount will be after multiplying come out as a 3438 h by d. So, in this way this uh, alpha v in, in arc minute and the height of the object is in a centimeter and d is in is the distance from the eye which can be expressed in centimeter. So, now our question is a small object that is 20 mm high. So, the given data is given data is like uh, h equals to 20 that is mm and this distance d is 35 m. So, it can be treated as 35000 mm. So, if you will put these values in the formula, so alpha v equals to 3438 into 20 upon 35,000. So, that will be uh, as an uh, if you will calculate it will come out as a 1.96 arc minute. So, now the second is thing that you have to calculate is visual equity. 
this is visual angle and now you have to calculate visual equity. So, this visual equity is nothing but a reciprocal of a visual angle that is 1.196 equals to 0 0.51. So, in this way this visual equity can be calculated. And uh, since vision is one of the most important uh, sensor of uh, all uh, five human uh, sensory system, so we need to take care of this visual angle and visual equity. As you may recall of the fact that there are uh, various standard methods for uh, testing visual equity, which includes uh, reading a Snellel chart and as well as we calculate the Snellel uh, equity and uh, so these uh, things we have uh, already learnt in uh, physical work in environment part as well as the cognitive economics. So now the second question is that we have to uh, understand that is what is the decibel label that is SPL of a sound that has pressure of 0 0.75 Pascal. So as to recall. Uh, the theory of uh, this particular uh, uh, hearing uh, concept. So, basically this uh, the intensity of the sound relates to the amplitude and that amplitude you calculate with the help of uh, this is basically uh, air pressure and uh, this is the maximum pressure and this is the minimum pressure and this is whole one cycle. So, here this particular upper graph is showing a compression and this particular uh, level is uh, ambient pressure. And this particular uh, nature of the curve is, uh, is, is rarefaction. So, in this way, it, this is a sinusoidal uh, pressure oscillation of a simple sound generating source. So, in this, uh, intensity of sound is related to the amplitude. Amplitude can be calculated uh, by uh, differentiating maximum pressure and minimum air pressure of oscillation. And uh, the term uh, this particular uh, sound pressure level is measured as uh, as a logarithmic measure of sound intensity. So, there is one formula which we learnt in while discussing the theory of this particular topic. So, that is 20 log base 10 to the uh, sound pressure from the source to the ref, uh, uh, upon uh, reference sound pressure that is PS by PR. So, here we can calculate with the help of this particular data. So, this is a sound uh, uh, pressure from the source and this is a, a reference uh, uh, sound pressure. So, what the data we have as of now that usual uh, reference level uh, which is taken as P r equals to 0 0.00002 Newton per meter square and uh, the data is given as 0 0.75 Pascal. So, here uh, as a uh, sound pressure uh, from the source we will take it as a 0 0.75 Newton per meter square. Now, we, uh, we put all these values in this particular formula. So, it will be coming out as S p l equals to 20 log base 10 0 0.75 upon 0 0.0002. So, that will be as at uh, 20 log base 10 37500 and that will somehow come out as a 91.5 decibel. So, in this way this can be calculated and uh, as far as the single town sound tone is concerned and if there are multiple sound there is a another way to solve that particular 
uh, question. So now another question which is based on the physical work environment that we are going to solve here and that is an isotropic light source uh, has an intensity of 250 candela located uh, 3 meter away is an object whose surface has a reflectance of 0.35. Now you have to calculate the total luminous flux emanating from the light source and B illuminance of the surface of the object C the luminance emit <coughs> emitted by the reflected light. So, uh, since we uh, learned the formula in the in the theoretical class that uh, let us say if we find out the solution. So, this particular uh, total luminous flux uh, calculation can be achieved by the formula f, f equals to 4 pi times i. So, here uh, this particular i is nothing but the luminous intensity that is expressed in candela. So, here i equals to 250. So, in this way if you will multiply and so answer you will be getting as 3142 and that is lumen. Now, the second question is uh, how to find out the illuminance of the surface of the object. So, this illuminance has been calculated as E equals to I upon d square. So, that is uh, 250 upon uh, that is uh, located 3 meter. So, that is 3 square equals to 27.18 and illuminance is expressed in lux. So, lx. So, now uh, the luminance emitted by the reflected light. So, this luminance can be calculated as so this particular e is illuminance and capital r is reflectance so uh, since illuminance we have calculated in the previous uh, line that uh, 27.18 into reflectance is what reflectance is uh, 0 0.35 upon pi. So, that will come out as a 3.095. Since the, uh, the unit of luminance is, is candela per meter square. <coughs> so, in this way with the help of simple formulas you can calculate the various uh, optical activities uh, which is very useful uh, concepts for uh, having knowledge towards uh, a visual environment. So, the again uh, the next question is uh, that that is also based on uh, the, the visual environment and that is a uh, ceiling lamp. Assuming a point source of light has a luminous intensity of uh, 200 candelas and its distance uh, between an office desk is 1.5 meter. It provides direct lighting of the desk surface which is medium gray and has a reflectance of 0 0.55. Uh, worksheets being processed are white. Uh, whose reflectance is 0 0.80 with black lettering uh, whose reflectance is 0 0.08. The average uh, size of lettering is uh, 2.5 mm and the workers eyes are about 300 mm away from the worksheets. Determined illuminance striking the desk surface b the luminance of the desk surface, c the contrast between the worksheets and lettering and the visual angle subtended by lettering as seen by the worker. 
So, in this way there are three uh, sub parts of this particular problem and now one by one we will take. So, first we will take to calculate this illuminance is tracking the desk surface. So, the uh, as we know that uh, the formula to calculate this illuminance <coughs> that is expressing in uh, E equals to i upon d square. So, where i is uh, luminous intensity and that is given as a 200 candela. Now, small d is what? Small d is distance above an office desk that is 1.5. So, here you can calculate as <coughs> it will come out as uh, something 88.8 uh, .8 and the unit of uh, illuminance is lux. So, now uh, the question B is luminance of the desk surface. So, how we will calculate the luminance? That is L and that can be calculated as uh, E r upon pi. So, here E has been calculated as illuminance. So, E r upon pi, so E is calculated as 88.8 and this particular r is uh, here it is given as it provides direct lighting of the desk surface which is medium grain has a reflectance of 0 0.55. So, here we need to this uh, put this particular value in this. So, 88.8 into r is what r is 0 0.55 upon pi. So, if you will calculate this particular term, so you will be having 15.6 candela per meter square. Now, the next thing that we need to calculate which is uh, contrast between the worksheets and the lettering. So, basically this contrast is uh, is brightness contrast. So, we can define this brightness contrast as uh, it is basically uh, relative we can say relative luminescence uh, between object and it is background. So, it can be expressed as L max minus L minimum upon L max. So, where this uh, L max is luminescence of brighter uh, surface and L minimum is the is for darker surface. So, in this way uh, this particular uh, value of brightness contrast can be calculated. So, now the C is brightness contrast that is <coughs> L max minus L minimum upon L max. This particular value in the form of uh, reflectance we can see that that worksheet being processed are white reflectance is 0 0.80 with black lettering is 0 0.08. So, in the, in the form of reflectance, we can also uh, express this bright contrast and that is if we maximum is 0 0.80 and minimum is 0 0.08. So, here <coughs> 0 0.80. So, in this way we will be having 0 0.90. So, that could be expressed as 90 percent. So, this brightness contrast is 90 percent. Now, we need to calculate this visual angle which is subtended by the lettering as seen by the worker. 
So, this particular uh, visual angle is can be calculated as uh, alpha v equals to 3438 times. So, here we can uh, see that uh, the distance and height is uh, you can see here that average size of the lettering is 2.5 mm and workers eye eyes are about 300 mm. So, so distance is 300 mm. So, here you can write as 300 and the average size of the lettering is 2.5. So, that we will uh, be putting as 2.5. So, now we have to calculate and uh, this multiplication and division uh, like uh, 3438 into 2.5 upon 300 which will come out as uh, 28.7 arc minute. So, in this way uh, those all uh, uh, analytical uh, values can be calculated with the help of uh, the concepts that has already been uh, developed with uh, uh, by uh, our uh, researchers and uh, young and uh, intelligent minds. So, uh, another question for you uh, to solve uh, that is basically based on the sound pressure uh, level and uh, that is uh, a worker is exposed to two noise sources one at 86 uh, decibel other uh, at 90 decibel determine the total sound pressure level of two sources and the permissible duration of exposure for this sound pressure. So, as we know that for single tone uh, uh, sound pressure uh, we have one formula that is uh, SPL equals to 20 log base 10 PS upon PR where PS is the sound pressure from the source and uh, uh, PR is the reference uh, pressure level. So, uh, but for multiple noise level we have uh, some uh, amended formula and that is for multiple noise sources uh, we have SPL equals to 10 log base 10 uh, summation of uh, 10 to the power 0 0.1 times S P L I. <coughs> so, I are the number of sources. So, here uh, since we have two uh, pressure levels 86 and 90 decibels. So, this we can write it as 10 log base 10 10 to the power uh, 0 0.1 into 86 plus 10 to the power uh, 0 0.1 into 90. So, this could be the uh, expression and then 10 log base 10. So, this could be 10 to the power 8.6 plus 10 to the power 9.0. We will calculate this particular uh, values. So, this will come out something like 10 log base 10 398 107 171 plus 1000000000 something like that. So, uh, now if you will calculate uh, with the help of calculator this particular value this will value this value will be coming out as 91.46 dBA and kindly check this value and correct it if it is wrong. It is just a simple mathematics we can with as an engineer you can calculate with the help of scientific calculator uh, which uh, has uh, option uh, to estimate the logarithmic value. So, now the second uh, uh, part is to calculate permissible duration of exposure for this sound pressure level. So, here is another formula. Uh, the for sound uh, this permissible duration of exposure for this particular sound pressure level and that is T P D C equals to <coughs> 8 upon 2 to the power 0 0.2 this 91.46 
minus 90 and that is 2 to the power 0 0.292 equals to 8 upon 1.224 that is 6.53 hours. So, this is a permission duration of exposure for this sound pressure level. So, uh, that is all for now. Uh, I hope uh, you have learned how to apply this theoretical knowledge that we have gained in the lectures uh, of uh, cognitive ergonomics as well as physical work environment. So, that is all for now. Thank you.